What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got another movie reaction for you. We started the Purge series. Obviously, we're going to continue with the second one yes. because we enjoyed the first one so much. Yes. The whole concept of the Purge, just absolutely wild. Terrifying. And watching it all play out in that first movie, so insane. Can't wait to see where they go with this series. And we're probably going to watch a third one after the second one. Absolutely. But it's one of those things where it's just absolute wild craziness. And this one's called Anarchy. So I'm expecting more of the same. So Absolutely. Here we go. The Purge. If you guys didn't know, we watch movies every single weekend over on the Nikki and Steven live channel. Yes, we have a live channel. We have fun. Absolutely. We have the best time. And... Dad jokes. Dad joke of the stream. Every time. Mm -hmm. Have a blast. We laugh. We play games there. We watch movies. and Yeah, so come join us. Subscribe. There should be a link there. There's one definitely down below. But here we go. The Purge Anarchy. Yes. You ready? Yep. Let's go. America, 2023. Oh, shit. <laughs> Unemployment is below 5%. Crime is virtually non-existent, while every year fewer and fewer people live below the poverty line. All thanks to... <laughs> the Purge! Well, I mean, you can you wait for it to pop up on the screen, you ding-dong? Anarchy. I mean, it's kind of obvious what was coming. Is it? That's what she said? Yeah. March 21st, 4.34 p.m. Two hours, 26 minutes until the start of the annual purge. Dude, imagine being stuck at the grocery store. You gotta, you gotta prepare better. Okay, stay safe. Finally. Stay safe, Miss Crowley. Miss Crowley wasn't... That is from, um... The musical cartoon. From Sing. Yeah. I'm fine, Carlos. Stay safe. Stay safe. If he has to take me home, I'd accept that right, girl. He's a dog. Oh, I like that dog. I would... <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna ask her tonight? I have to. I can't afford his medicine much longer. All right, good luck. Where do we know him from? Captain America. Look like he's uh, going hunting. But you're allowed to, like, break down people's doors and go in there and murder them? Yeah. I mean, I know from the first one, like, that that's what they did, but they were looking for someone in particular. I didn't know if that that's, like, a regular given. Feels like you could do almost anything you want. Advantage of the nation's fear. Aww. What was it? Oh, God. I'm glad we took the back roads. You know, highways are probably a mess right now. Don't the minister on the island. Midnight Mass, thank you. Our regime was voted into office nine years ago, and the first order of business was to deal with the epidemic of crime that was plaguing this nation. The answer was the first. Hey, sir, need some protection tonight? Need something? Man, we run out of time. Hey, that purge tonight, y'all know what time it is. Hitting them in the face ain't gonna work no more. You need something powerful. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? How you doing? You gonna need something no, for protection tonight? No, I'm good. Uzi Beretta? Good. Uzi Beretta. <laughs> That's quite a difference from an Uzi to a Beretta. Oh, God. Hey. Scare the shit out of me, man. Sure, you want yeah. protection? No, thanks, huh? Diego. I'm the man for the job, you know what I mean? We've lost our soul. He's in everything. He is. We no longer worship at the altar of Christ. Mohammed. Yahweh, we worship at the altar of Smith and Wesson. This is fucking terrifying. It's about one thing. Money. Who dies tonight? The poor. We can't afford to protect ourselves. That's enough. I can't listen to this crap. He's as full of shit as they are. They're keeping the population down by getting rid of people like us to save money. Maybe right, but he won't do anything about it. Hey, Daddy. Don't hate Daddy me. Where have you been? I told you not to get again. this stuff. It does Tony's nothing. Is no, I'm not Today, taking it. You're taking I'm your medicine. Taking. Look, Papa, maybe it doesn't do anything, but can you just take it? It's interesting hearing the aspect of the purge where people are outspoken against it and hearing that side of it. I'm going to try to sleep through this godforsaken holiday. Did you just call it a holiday? This is 
this makes me worried for this family. I'll take care of my room. I love you both. Why does he feel like he's saying goodbye? Because you never know what the fuck's going to happen on the purge night. I'd probably be the same way. You'd want to get, like, good buys in if you don't have a good plan. They don't seem like a family that has the ability to go anywhere or lock themselves into a giant fortress of walls and machinery. <laughs> yes. I want to tell her, Shane. Dude, this close to purge time, like, I would not be out and about buying shit and... Mm -hmm. I'd... I said I want to tell your yeah, sister. I, I heard you. I just don't feel like time. God forbid you get stuck somewhere. Can you unlock the car, please? It's unlocked. No, it's not. There. You! Oh my god. 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 Dude. You got me. You got me, dude. And then you got folks like that who are getting ready for the. They're alarm ready to go in off. advance. Yeah. They, I don't want to. We're wanna, early! I don't want to get stuck Ooh. outside. You know who he reminds me of? He looks like Venom from the WWE show. Finn yeah. Balor. Venom. Sorry, you know what I mean. He dresses up like Venom. The demon. The masks are creepy. Yes. Let's just get in the car. It just adds a whole different, like, layer to, like, the scariness. Mm. We don't have a whole lot of time before commencement, Shane. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. I promise. Uh, there's the... I promise. We'll be, we'll fine. be fine. I promise. Yeah. You're dead. Bullshit. I've been calling. Why didn't you pick up? What do you want? You can't go out there. You know how dangerous it is. You need to go. You need to leave. Don't do this. Won't make you feel any better. Trying to right or wrong. You too. Yeah, so, uh, is there a prison? Are people in prison? Do they have those folks out too? Mm -hmm. He's definitely uh, preparing for a hunt. Yeah. That's for sure. This year, we will fight back. I mean, it's in your right to fight back. He left a note. What are you doing? I don't know. <sighs> Shit. Is this just his purge night ritual? Like, is this what he does? No, I think he's going out to kill himself. Or get killed. To end it? Oh my god. Because he left a note. Why else would you leave a note? Again, it's the purge. You never know what might happen. You often agree with me and then a week later say, I don't remember doing that. So you're calling me a liar. This is the exact... Looks like one of our arguments. <laughs> See, this is exactly why we need to tell your sister that we're separating. Mm -hmm. It'll make it real, but I think we need to make it real. That does not sound like one of our arguments. No, that's definitely not one of our arguments. <laughs> what the hell is that? Power steering's gone. What do you mean the power steering's gone? I, I, I don't know. There's something wrong with the car. Uh, you need to fucking run the rest of the way. And that's why I'm not hanging out two hours before. Somebody did something to the car. Purge hunters killing cars... Oh, that thing reminds me of Mad Max. Right? Is that what that movie was? Yeah. Mad Max. I got Batmobile vibes. Batmobile. Or as Jess would say, Batman Mobile. The sixth annual purge will begin in 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So you can basically like stay like outside somebody's house and just wait for shit to like go live and you're ready to go. Or walk through parking lots and fuck up people's cars so they can't actually drive away. Word. Consistent theme through the first two movie. Well, we're only what like 20 minutes into this movie. A lot of dumb people making dumb decisions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about the car. We just need a ride. It's fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Hello? Hi. Whoa. 
Sorry, but also no. I'm yeah, not, I'm not like stopping. who's gonna pick you up so close to purge time? Like, Jamie, we can't be stuck outside. I know, I know. I mean, we're downtown. Everyone comes downtown to purge. Hey. Sounds like you're fucked. Yikes. They're coming from our car. Yeah, cars. Oh, shit. Someone tore it up. Oh god. Oh god. They targeted them. But why them? Cuz. <sighs> I don't think you need a lot of rhyme or reason as to who you target and why you purge. You just can. There's so many people. Like, why those particular ones? Because they're our main character in the movie, that's why. I mean... Yes. <laughs> Again, it reminds me of the strangers. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. I mean, this has such a different vibe from the first one. Yeah. It's, it's from a different point of view, yeah. that's for sure. Right. And these two are just running in the middle of... Oh my god. <laughs> May God be with you. Oh shit. Do that all. <laughs> That's so messed up. Oh, fucking sniper people from above? What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit, dude. Why are you gonna get the dogs into this? Why why can't the animals just stay home? Dude's they didn't got ask a for this shit. Flamethrower, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, if you're gonna ride, a bus is the way to do it, I guess. Ooh, a semi truck, there you go. We're stealing a truck, bitches! Oh my god! Holy shit. How do you do this and just not feel bad about it? Why is this dude wearing a Dexter apron? Honestly. Holy shit. Don't want to get nothing on those khakis. I have no idea. Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh shit. What's just hiding here? Oh, a dumpster, that's smart. I mean, I that's what I was saying. Th oh, except there's a dead dude already in one. Get in the fucking dumpster. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I mean, that couple definitely already wins dumbasses of the year. Yeah, for like, being out and about. Far too late. Just not being at all prepared. Like, do all your shopping the day before. Why you gotta do it that day? Look at this. Dearest Eva and Kelly, I'm dying. You know this. I'll be a martyr for a wealthy family tonight. They paid me for this service. $100,000 will be transferred into your accounts, my darlings. Whoa. Survive the night and live a safe life. What the actual fuck? These rich folks can buy people's services to kill them? Oh, sh what the fuck? It's how the wealthy purge, baby. They buy poor and sick people and they kill them where they're safe. Some sick motherfuckers, dude. We can do something about this. I don't know what, but we can Stop. still do something about Stop. it. Stop. He's gone. That is absolutely sickening and sad. He must have been, like, really sick to have to do such a thing. But... I don't know if that makes it any easier on his family. That's... Like... What the fuck is happening? Something bad. <laughs> Oh, what the what fuck the 
fuck is this? Who are they? It looks like an army. I have no idea. Oh. What the fuck? No, I can't they haven't even come inside you. That was right near the room. Oh shit. Never. Oh what? Protect you. Protect you from me. It's <laughs> in the kitchen. I'm not sure you're gonna have a weapon that could defend against those folks. Oh, no. What the fuck, dude? They were like dressed in all kinds of gear with crazy ass friggin' weapons, man. Uh That was the bus. Oh my god. Bitch. Why is she a bitch? Just because she wanna fuck you. This is what happens tonight. Diego, don't come back here. We have guns and we will shoot you. Why you gotta get? Oh my god, give up the location. I got a little bonus. Fuck you. I'm gonna release the beast. I'm a boss of you, fucking lame bitches. It's my right, granted to me by the newfound fathers. Yikes, dude. <laughs> oh, nice teeth, bro. Diego, don't you hear there's people in our building? Uh, when you shut the fuck up! It's a motherfucking purge! Five fucking time! Get in the fucking dumpster! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh my god. Every fucking day, you pass me by the hallway like I ain't shit! Bet you don't fucking beg! Beg! Please, I'm saying, please! Is that your father? Please, please. Oh, my God. Please, please. Oh, God. Ugh. Dude. Ugh. Ugh. Come and get it. Oh, Where he's fucking at? dead. <gasps> fucking death troopers fucking during the purge. Oh, my God. This is what he was looking for tonight. Let's bring these two downstairs. Big Daddy, we have two for your personal purge. Big Daddy? The what fuck? the fuck? Dude, this is fucking nuts. These poor people, dude. Oh, man. This is a whole different, just different level of intense. Get off it. Just drive, just drive, just drive. No, don't just drive. Seriously, he's giving off like Punisher vibes. Word. Yes, Punisher. Absolutely. He has the look. He definitely has the look. He has a John Punisher, Bernthal yeah. look. I mean... No one's John Bernthal. Word, that's also true. And these two dumbasses are still running around. I'm surprised they've lived this long. Holy shit. Oh shit. Damn. Oh, that's oh. Big Daddy. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna have a full ride. Why does that look like Kevin Bacon a little bit? Shotgun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so intense. Oh 
Are you for real right now? Fucking Terminator with that shit. I mean, it looks like he's bulletproof his vehicle. Holy shit. What was that army doing in your building? Why were they after you? Why were they after you? I don't know. Why are you in the streets? Our, our car just broke down. Our car purge. broke down. We don't want to hurt anybody. Are you armed? No, no. no. What were you doing outside? I'm purging. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh no. Uh, I guess he didn't bulletproof it good enough. Only got oh, 11 shit. hours to go. Can we just hide in here? I mean, we have seven hours until morning. There's hunters out there with dogs. Sooner or later they're gonna find you. That's why the dogs. So they yeah. can sniff for people. Yeah. Take it. Just giving us guns? Where are you going? I got somewhere to be before the sun comes up. I can't take you with me. You'll slow me down. We won't Wait, slow you so down. you're really just gonna leave us here? Tonight. Let him go. He, he doesn't want to help us. Shut up! What do you want me to do? Why did you save us? I, I can get you a car. I, I have a friend in the city not far from here. You can take her car and do what you have to do. That was convenient. I'll, I'll explain when I get there, is okay? What are you looking for? Snipers. S fuck, I forgot about those. All right, if you listen to what I say, you stay close, you slow me down, I cut you all loose, you understand? Yeah. Damn. I mean, he's on a mission, yep. so... it's true. It's a damn shame about his vehicle, though. Looks like he put a lot of time and work into it. Damn, girl. The right arm of the free world and the left hand of God. Holy shit. It's, it's going to be much quicker if we go down here. What is that? Stop. Get off of me. I'm oh, my God. Oh, what? You're going to what? I'm going to shoot it. Move. What? Okay. <gasps> Oh my god. Ah! Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. They just got fucking traps in the streets. That is messed up. Dude, that's a wild trap right there. And now it sets off an alarm that everyone knows that they're there. Yeah, that's dude. wild. Tonight we write our message in blood. Their blood. I mean, you would have to think at some point there would be a group of people who would want to go against the new founding fathers. Yeah. We all got stuck out here and he chose to be. That means he's purging. Hey. <laughs> he saved our lives. All I'm saying is that he's out here armed to the teeth on purge night voluntarily. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he makes a good point, it's true, but yeah. it's like, well, you already did ask him, but like, he didn't share. Yeah. But obviously, he share. he's got that firepower and that car. He's got a mission. Oh my God. We were just doing our duty. This is one of the bastards who came into our building. And that looks like their truck. It's the only truck that's out here, so yeah, that's their truck. Oh, truck three? Never mind. There's a many of them. Look at this, they're accessing the city's traffic cams. Traffic cams are controlled by the government. How did they get into these? Yeah, the street. Is that your building? Yeah, but why is it all red? Look, I'm telling you, this is the new founding fathers. The government- The truck is fucked. No good? That's Carmela's mark, come on. I told Papa he was the real deal. His group took these fuckers out. Everybody got a weapon. Oh, God. Grab this. Take the weapon. Go, go. You're gonna give go. the biggest gun? Holy shit. Right? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, fuck. Ah, the guy was 
stabby stabby. Oh my god. Okay, bro. God damn. Oh sh Oh no. Oh no. By the way, John Bernthal would have been amazing in this, just saying. He would have been, yeah. Night night. It's a strong choke right there. Great technique. Good job. Why'd you help us? Did we establish a no talking rule? <laughs> People are getting killed all over the city. Why'd you stop for us? You we were putting up a hell of a fight. You reminded me of someone. Purging, no matter what the reason, is wrong. It doesn't heal someone. Enough. Enough. Go back with your mommy. I would like to know exactly what his plan is. Yeah, me too. I mean, he's clearly going to try to kill the dude that was I'm on his wall. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And he has a, he had a, has or had a son. Something with that guy and his son. Here's noise immediately speaks loudly. What's that? There's no threat. We're just trying to make it through the night. Oh shit. Oh my god. Whoa, dude. Oh. Shit, man. They were literally just trying to survive. Oh my god. Oh god! She was struggling with her breathing. Can't we just shoot those people that are chasing after us? He's a, everybody's a terrible shot here. Just a t oh. Damn, dude. <laughs> Help! He's been shot. I have no idea how bad. Help! I mean, is it g good to get up and keep moving? I don't know. I've never been shot before. I, I Target match on the civilians who attacked truck two. Oh my god. What, they have face recognition software too? Honestly. <laughs> come on, come on, hurry up. Daniel, hurry up. Thank you. I don't like being out here. Come on. Damn, dude. Are you okay? It's gonna hurt like a dude, what the hell do the hospitals look like when the purge is over? I can't think. Like, how friggin' crowded. People who got their asses beat or shot or hurt then it ended up not dying. That's oh my that's insane. couldn't imagine. My mother's a wonderful cook. My sister's a testament to that. <laughs> uh, their building was a target. I feel like all these people are in a lot of trouble. Building's locked down and good. It's quiet. We are anti purge in this household. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Daddy. What? I can think of a couple situations where Purgy could be the answer. Girl. I'm just saying. Don't piss me off, bitch. Okay. This feels so sus. Is she poisoning people? Is he gonna, like, come across some sus items in this room right now? Oh, fuck. You don't realize that he went into that room to get a shirt? No more purge news. No more nothing depressing. Let's put on some music and let's just liven it up a little bit. Let's dance. <laughs> that one girl, a little sus. You're going out there to kill someone who wronged you. I think you should just take care of your daughter. She's special. Why would these people just... There is no cause. <laughs> I, I, that's what I was just thinking in my head. I'm like, why would they just give a random stranger their car? I, I did what I had to. I did it for my daughter. I was doing this for my son. Oh. 
You have no idea what you might have taken away from me tonight. Shit. Yeah, I don't know him, but I'm pretty sure he did not want you to do whatever it is that you're going to do. Just... She's sus. Oh, oh shit, she's got, she got a gun. gun. Yeah. Who is she? Oh, shit! Tanya! Tanya! She had that look in her fucking eyes, dude. You know what I'm doing. I read all your emails, you cheating motherfuckers. <gasps> Ooh. It's okay, Lorraine. Lorraine, stop. You okay? I'm sorry. Lorraine, you Lorraine. no. You shoot me. You shoot this woman. Lorraine, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything. I didn't mean it. Fuck you. This is my right granted to me by my government. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Damn! Oh shit, dude. You can't even be safe with your own damn family, dude. <laughs> Fuck. You've got to be fucking kidding me. How'd they find us? Stay here. We don't have all night. I want this building surrounded. He's here. He shot me. Jesus. I my team. I want him dead. Fuck, dude. And I want the two women he saved. They're mine. I want them alive. Jesus. Big Daddy ain't fucking around. Big Daddy. It's so weird. The fuck? Is that the Jaws of Life right there? Isn't that what, like, uh, firefighters use to get you out of a car? God damn. Oh, oh God. Shit. No. No. That mask is. It's like a scarecrow mask. Friggin' I love it. That mask is dope. Oh no. Shit. They got everybody. How did you find us? She talks a lot. We got lucky. We was roaming around out there all night. Why haven't you just killed us already? We're not purging tonight. We don't need to kill anyone. What? We need money. Oh, shit. They're selling them. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Is this more of the so the rich people can purge without having to leave the house? They can just Is this like the fucking DoorDash of Purge Nights? Seriously. They're just... they're Talk about an Instacart of this. They just don't have to do the hard stuff. They don't actually have to gather people to purge. They have people do it for them. Are we, what is this? If you move or speak, you will be shot. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck? The fuck? You sick ass motherfuckers. Purgers, please suit up. Good luck. These are just some sick motherfuckers, dude. You really get to see a lot more of what the population does on purge night. I think I would still just try to hunker down or just drive to Mexico or something. You need to make a bulletproof vehicle. Yeah. Just in case you do get stuck out. Oh, oh fuck. These fucking If we guys. got stuck, it wouldn't be anything close to purge time. I would make sure we were well We gotta, well you gotta leave, like, time. days in advance. Whole week. Ooh. Bitches with the knives, give me a fucking what the hell? It's like some Hunger Games bullshit. <laughs> Dude. The, that werewolf movie that we watched. Stay here. Yeah, just send the Punisher out there to kill one of these dumbasses and take their weapon and you're good to go. They're killing each other? 
I mean, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Or, like, is there more people than what they just... Get those night glasses! Oh my god! Like a bat. Oh shit, broke his neck. You know who you fucking with. Oh shit. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh shit. Oh! What are you. Why wouldn't you just stab him? Oh! How did she fucking bite him? Bitch, you wild! Again, why wouldn't you just stab somebody if you have the- Oh, shit. But like, you know, why would you like try to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat somebody? Just fucking stab! Can you shoot through the glass? Oh yeah, buddy! Fuck all y'all! Fuck all y'all! Fuckers. <laughs> Sick-ass motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Sorry. You okay? I mean, anybody who would participate in an event like this is sick. Someone's coming right at us. Light him up. Damn! You saw the splatter? Yeah. The juices? Dude, those are some pretty badass glasses. They've got, like, targets. <laughs> oh, bitch. Play dangerous games? Expect a dangerous outcome. Oh, fuck. This is some bullshit. The game didn't go their way, so they're just gonna take care of it themselves? I love you, I need to know. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> At least they got to say I love you. Oh, man. I was gonna say, literally like a minute before that happened, that if all of these folks get out of this alive, it will be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Gee, did they come back? No, is this is... No, This different. is the, the crew the, that's against, against it. Yeah. Shit. It's like we got our own army now. Holy dude. Wild. Fuck the new founding fathers. And motherfuck the purge. I want to get out of here. It's about to get nasty. <laughs> Holy shit. Was that really the homeless dude from the first movie? That's. Is it? Oh shit, yeah. Did she just say I want to purge? Look, we'll take care of her. You sure? Wow. I mean, after what he experienced, I am not at all surprised that he would want to help fight the purge. Yeah. I was honestly, I was not expecting to see him again. That's fantastic. Get out of the car. D yeah, take care of that one. No, don't God. shoot me. Look no, at me. No, don't shoot me, please. You don't, don't deserve to live, you piece of shit. You remember? No. Now run. Faster! I'll take that badly. There isn't much time left in this year's purge. Get out there and make yourself better citizens. God be with you all. It's like, regardless of your class, if you're going to shit like that, and experiencing and participating and shit like that, you die. You die. The owner of that house. It's like you, if you have the means. Twelve months ago. Just leave the country and don't participate. Especially, don't pay to watch. That bastard's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. He got off on a technicality. Oh. Him and his wife and his two little kids. Well, they live in that house happily ever after. Two weeks ago, I came here and I disabled his back barricade. That's what we're doing here. 
Oh, shit. I want you both to stay in this car. Do you understand me? Understanding, like, and hearing his motive now. It's just... Why does this dude's family get to live happily ever after while he's responsible for the death of my son and he got off on a technicality? He was a drunk driver. Like... No! Don't talk! Shut your mouth. Look at my face! Okay. You remember okay. me? Look at my okay. face! I'm I you am know what you took from me? I know. You I took my boy! You took my I'm, fucking boy! I am so sorry. You took my son! You're gonna pay for what you did to me. What you did to my boy! No, please. He didn't do it, right? I don't know. <gasps> the fuck? Oh, oh shit! No. Big Papa found him. Daddy, found big car. daddy. Daddy, yeah. Fortunately, the citizens aren't killing enough, so we supplement it all to keep things balanced. Supplement it. Can't have heroes. Oh no, sir. No heroes. One of the girls gonna shoot him in the back. Please, of the head. please. I hope you feel cleansed. Blessed be America. Ew. A nation. Oh shit. Oh, he didn't kill him. Girl, you better stay in that car! It's been the longest five minutes ever. Dude, are those vectors? You in a fucking car? Uh, yes. Go get it now! Yeah, okay. Go! Okay. okay. Shit. <laughs> Hurry up and get that car! So Big Daddy called him a sergeant. Clearly military. With his ability, his particular set of skills. He didn't kill the dude. He ended up saving his life. And everyone is rushing to the hospital after the sound of the bell. Holy shit. 364 days until the next annual perch! <laughs> oh man! That was a really intense movie. I didn't like it. You didn't like <laughs> I it? I didn't like it as much as the first one. I like the, the, it. Was you know the story started out really good and like it, like the kills were kind of awesome, but I'm sorry, I liked the first one better. I the thing that is pretty consistent between both movies is you see a lot of people doing really dumb shit. Yeah, and the whole thing with that first couple, I just thought. Them being at the store and being nonchalant about like, stuff. This is not like, the first year you've been doing right. this. It's just a lot of convenient, dumbass people doing things. And I bet you a lot of people would actually act like that. So I yeah. don't think it's that far off. No, I get it's that. It's just, I mean, with everything they went through, they all should have died. Lord. <laughs> Oh my god. Like that was kind of nuts. I it was don't get me wrong. Like the story was like interesting in some aspects like the whole like purge show. That was like more interesting, <laughs> but like the first one was way more I don't know, I just liked it better, but like there were a ton of jump scares here. Like I got I definitely got a bunch of jump scares. I just I feel like I think from your point of view like I I totally understand that and I think I like the first one more too, to be honest. I thought it was just fascinating to see the other side of the purge. I agree. I agree. See, I liked that part. And see everything that actually goes on during the purge. Right. And seeing what it's actually like in the city and being in the streets and seeing what people are actually doing. Like full on military dudes rolling around in giant yes. trucks with like fucking rail guns. That was like, crazy. These rich folks have these parties where they pay money to 
they, essentially capture people to have, that's their way of door purging. dash yeah a person it's so wild seeing no what offense people actually to do yeah no, no, not sponsored but <laughs> i feel yeah. like the whole story with the dad that felt really, really emotional sad. But, but then, then it just, just like it was just gone. Like right. that story was is gone now. Because yeah. it was one of those things where the it was like, oh, he's gone. There's nothing we could do about it. Okay, we let's on. move on. Yeah. Well, and they're so. getting their house broken into, and it's like that was really scary. And like that that whole aspect of it was like you know interesting part of the story, and 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 very gory and action packed, and you know. I think. I think the first one was just a more compact, it almost felt more realistic to me because it's like the main character of the first one dies, he doesn't survive, and like the fact that the neighbors would want to come in and the fact that the son would be willing to like bring someone in who's being attacked, like that, all that stuff feels like it would play more realistically. The fact that five of the six people from this group lived is ridiculous. Especially all but one of them actually had any level of training with weapons. It's just, there were so many people out there and there were so many people attacking and there were so many people with like guns and weapons and there were snipers. There was a crazy woman on the roof yeah. and they were able to avoid all of that and, and survive. And again, the killers were kind of awesome. Like that aspect of it was kind of awesome but it's just Callie is the one who threw me off the whole time her constantly being told to shut up and like uh, even Sergeant like some of his stuff I was like the fuck yeah I don't know Sergeant and Callie just didn't do it for me I mean also the the Midnight Mass couple uh, Shane oh, I... and Liz I found you know what? Good. Eva was the only, or Ava was the only one that was selling it for me. That's it. I mean, that original couple, I thought they were absolute morons. I mean, again, the fact that, like, they're talking about their separation after dude gets shot, it's like... Honestly, really? Hello? Really? I still think we should tell your sister. Yeah. The fuck? See, like, when it's I a, watch... I, turned, I just got shot... <laughs> And, and you're, you're still you still want to separate from me? <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Biatch. I, Thanks a lot. When I watch movies like this, I just go into it for the entertainment value. And it was very entertaining. Please don't get me wrong yeah. on that. It was very entertaining. And the jump scares were awesome. Yeah. That one crew that, like, bumped into Shane, <laughs> like, they were terrifying. I would never want to... Well, first off, I don't want to participate in the purge. <laughs> yeah. I love all y'all. I don't care or any of that stuff. But they were fucking terrifying. Like, like... I don't know. And, like, that whole group with the trucks and, like, the fucking machine gun that's, in the back. That that's the wild. part. That's the aspect of the movie that I really enjoyed seeing. Just because you, like, in the first movie, you hear about how crazy it is. You see these, like, this news footage about mm. how crazy it is out there. Yep. And then, like, the radio calls at the end of the movie are talking about how successful it was. And there's so many dead. Actually being out there and seeing who's doing this shit is just, it's insane. It just takes it to a different level. But I feel like it was less chaotic. But, I mean, as they said in it, like, the the guy at the end was like, people aren't killing enough. Yeah. And it's Big like, so, so maybe, like, that's why there weren't so many people out is because they weren't killing enough. There's, there's not enough people participating in the purge. I liked... Like, it, it, maybe... I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was just going to say, I like the anarchy aspect of it. Yeah. Where it makes sense that there's a group rising against the purge. Yeah. I thought that aspect of the story and the dude from the first movie was in it. I thought that was awesome. The family that we went and visited, that was absurd. That felt kind of ridiculous. That was kind of awesome. That was I mean, kind of awesome. You fuckers are cheating. Hell yeah, yeah I'm going to kill your ass. But talk about like the convenience of the idea that Ava was like, oh, yeah, they're good friends. We can trust them. It's going to be great there. Yeah. And it's like this one bitch is, like, partying and drinking and taking pills. But in reality, like, she was sleeping with her sister's husband. It's like... Why are you the taking the pills? That's the shit that we walked in on. Like, that's the great friend and family that we're going to go visit. And then conveniently, there was no car. And obviously, she was doing what's best for her family. But... Why do whole... you care so much about, like... I mean, I get it. Like, she needed him to get them to a safe spot. Right. 
but but like in your brain, she was still trying to prevent him from going to kill somebody right. that wronged him. Of course, like that aspect of the story, I thought was interesting too. But the idea that like some random stranger would just give you a car, like would you really buy that? No. It's like I don't know if I would like be so confident in being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna chauffeur all these people through the city where everyone is dying and getting shot and killed, and I'm gonna get a car. Like what? <laughs> You ain't well, getting a car, bro. Well, but he, like, that was the agreement. I know like, it was. In but order to get there safe. But she was also, making a deal for other people's vehicle. Like, yeah. Yeah, no. Supposedly I, on the I phone. I would not be giving you my car. Yeah. So sorry. But it's just pretty wild. I really like my car. Yeah. I'm not going to give it away. I liked, I like dude's motive. It makes sense that Absolutely. he would. Absolutely. I just wish they focused more on that and they were you know, not that I want to see him tortured, but also yeah. that would have been a good point. Yeah. And he ends up letting the dude live and he's the one who ends up killing Big Daddy after he like tracked the, the plates and figured out what his reasoning was going to be where he was going to be that night. It's like, okay. Yeah. I think I liked the first one more. I think this one, I liked getting more of the backstory and seeing all the just fucking sh nonsense that goes on during Purge Night. I was just expecting more. I mean, it was. But I understand. Bad. But when they said there's not a lot, and a lot of people doing yeah. the purge, like I get that part. I just, I was expecting fucking chaos, just absolute mayhem, just yeah. everywhere. I mean, there was a lot of it. It's kind of hard to have mayhem when you've got these giant big rigs rolling around with fucking rail guns just mowing people That's down. That's what it's called, a rail gun. <laughs> yeah. I don't Terminator. Know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was just absolutely wild. So. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think these movies are fun. Oh, yeah. I, they're great. I'm not going to... I will keep watching them. Yeah, I'm not going to go into them expecting amazing Much. writing and crazy storytelling. There you go. Thank you. It's just turn it on, watch some fucking insanity go down, and there's obviously some reality and social aspects of the movie that they want you to take in, which is obviously clear, and yeah. I think the movies are entertaining. I think they get the job done for what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So... But yeah. as of this moment, yeah, I like the first one more. Yeah. I think. I mean, the you know, the main character coming out, like, you know, talking to the camera, like, he was fucking scary. Oh, yeah. That I dude don't know. Was, the bitch in the blue dress just didn't do it for was, me. She needed horrifying. to fucking die. Yeah. I wish they would have, like, shot through the glass and, like, got all those fuckers. <laughs> I mean... He wasn't You're going to pay for this? Yeah. You're going to pay to watch people die? The fuck? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. That money could be spent. It's like the escape helping room. the people that you want to see die. <laughs> you fuckers. It's like escape room. Yeah. Where people are like televising, and it's like Squid Game, where people are like paying to watch these people die. Yeah. Well, in this instance, they get to kill the people with their own hands or weapons. But yeah, it's just all insanity. Bitches. All insanity. Bitches. I would like, especially after watching this movie. My plan of handling the purge would definitely be like a month in advance. I would not be at the store the day of trying to get shit. No. Not like there would even be shit of it. It's like if I ran a store, would I really be open on purge day? Fuck no. I'm like, you got to get no. this shit ahead of time. We're closed. We'll be open tomorrow if I make it. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Oh, man. There's just so much just silly shit. But yeah. Yeah. It's highly enjoyable. Obviously, it's not supposed to be realistic. Yeah. But like some aspects, I'm like, mm, you could have done that a little bit better. Yeah. So don't, overall. Don't hate me. I still love you. It, it's it, it. The attended impact is landed. It's fun. It's yeah. just absolute crazy. Just action packed. And definitely the, the social aspect of yeah, it. I get it. For sure. So yeah. Anything else? No. All right, y'all. Leave your comments. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.